everyone. Welcome to our channel. So today we are going to discuss about inference theory of predicate calculus. So in this we have four rules. Okay. So previously uh, we discussed about rule P, rule T that's already common. And here in order to solve this inference theory of predicate calculus we should know about four rules. Rule US, rule ES, rule EG, rule UG. So US is nothing but universal specification. So the formula is for all x a of x, one can conclude a of y. So for all x a of x, we can conclude a of y. This is called universal specification. So universal means for all. Next rule ES, existential specification. Here exists x a of x, one can conclude a of y. So in the place of for all, here we get there exists x. Okay. So for all x a of x, we get a of y, we can conclude a of y. So that is called universal specification. And coming to rule E s, existential specification, there exists x a of x, one can conclude a of y. And coming to rule e g, that is existential generalization. If we have a of x, one can get there exists y a of y. From a of x, we can conclude there exists y a of y. So that is called rule e g existential generalization. In the same manner, rule u g universal generalization. From a of x, we can conclude this, uh, for all y a of y. So from a of x, we can conclude for all y a of y. So in order to understand this, we need to explain an example so that you get a clear cut idea. To take an example, we will ask the questions in this manner. Verify validity of the following arguments. All men are mortal. Socrates is a man. Therefore, Socrates is mortal. They will ask you like this or else they will direct you like this. Show that for all x, h of x implies m of x and h of s, we should conclude m of s. Okay, so here, in order to solve this, first let us take h of x. So here h of x is, x is x is n. H of x is x is man, m of x is x is mortal, and s is nothing but Socrates. So H of x is x is man, m of x is x is mortal, s is Socrates. So finally we should conclude m of s. Okay, so here I am doing here. Okay, so first let me take for all x, h of x implies m of x. So this is rule p, which is already present. So this is one premise. So here we have universal specification. So for all x, a of x, we can conclude a of y. So what is my conclusion? S. S is nothing but Socrates. So in the place of for all x, h of x implies m of x, I can write h of s implies m of s. So this is rule t on 1 and with universal specification. Rule universal specification. So what is universal specification? For all x, a of x, we can conclude a of y. So in the place of x, we will get y. So in the place of x, my conclusion is Socrates. So I will get s. So I got h of s implies m of s. And here I have h of s. So h of s is already another premise which is given. So this is rule p. And finally, h of s implies m of s. H of s. Using i11, we will get m of s. So what is my final conclusion? m of s. Rule p. On 2 and 3 and I 11. So I get M of S. So 
what is my conclusion? Finally, m of x is nothing but so uh, x is mortal. That is, Socrates is mortal. Okay. So in this way, by using universal specification, universal generalization, at the same time, existential specification, existential generalization, we can solve this type of problem. So if you see another example, you get a clear cut idea about.